everyone. I actually didn't have access to a printer, so we're going fully, <laughs> fully digital. So excuse me on my phone. Thank you so much for joining us today to celebrate the accomplishments of the MIMS and MIT students. Thanks for coming, and thanks for all of the friendship, guidance, and support everyone here has provided as we've worked towards our degrees. Thank you to the School of Information for creating this program, and to our professors for mentoring and nurturing us along the way. I also want to thank my fellow MIT students for joining us here. As Anno said, people flew in from literally all around the world, and it's really great to see so many of us here in one place and with the rest of the school. I've been asked to say a little bit about what the MIDS program is, and I think that brings a great opportunity to reflect on all that we've accomplished. I live in Boston, and whenever the topic of school comes up, people ask, oh, where are you going? Expecting an answer like MIT or Boston University. Typically, I just say UC Berkeley and wait. <laughs> it takes a moment, that confused look where they think they heard you wrong, or question if they forgot to notice you moved across the country. I can only imagine the look that the students abroad get. So I think we've each developed our, our own fun way of explaining it. MIDS is an online data science program. It's a flipped classroom. We watch a few hours of carefully curated video content a week, and then we meet. And when we meet online, it isn't like what you would typically expect of an online course. The classes are small, 18 people max in a room. And I like to explain that it looks a little bit like the introduction to the Brady Bunch. Each student's face is displayed at once in a little box with a separate module for the instructor to share their screen, to walk through slides, etc. There's a chat box that allows private conversations, which actually feels a lot like passing notes in grade school, and small breakout rooms that are often used so that groups of three or four students can interact or solve problems in real time together. The commute is wonderful. Just go to the internet and sign on. But this also brings some interesting ethical dilemmas, such as, should I hide wine in my coffee mug? Or, do I even need to wear pants to school today? Graduates, I think we've solved these and several other dilemmas. Over the past two years, we have each learned to do much more than we thought was humanly possible. Most of us are working full-time jobs. Some are juggling a family and even raising kids. On top of this, we've ramped up on a wide variety of data science topics machine learning, statistics, field experiments, but also ethics and responsible analytical design. We've learned to do this not just for one or two small data sets, but for huge data spread across cl clusters. And for all that size, we've also learned to realize that big data by itself isn't some magical answer. We need the right data, a sound approach, and consideration of many other things. Do you care about causality or prediction? We've learned to have more nuance and wisdom in our analyses. We've learned a lot from each other too. By this point, we've all completed at least a dozen complicated technical team projects. We know how to sync code online, how to work effectively as a distributed team. We come from a variety of backgrounds and have learned to leverage each other's strengths. There have been many late nights, but it's been amazing to have the support of each other in the classroom and on Slack throughout. So many students have made an effort to help their peers in extra study sessions by sharing code or just sharing life experiences and advice. It's been a lot of work, but we've made it. And if you're like me, you've spent at least one recent weekend wondering what the heck you're going to do with all this free time you now have. So, uh, so what's next? Well, for, for data science in particular, I think this is a really exciting question. There's great untapped opportunity for our graduating class to take on the many unanswered and often unknown questions that exist today. The MITS program is new, and we get to define our place in the story of data science. We get to define what MIDS means, not only for the students who come after us, but also the lens by which employers, policymakers, and the world looks at MIDS and at data science generally. We should aim to stand out in our work, in the thought and effort we put into problem solving, in the quality we demand of ourselves, in the care and empathy that we put into the fact that there are real people who live and breathe underneath our data sets, in our shared sense of the importance of a strong ability to tell a story, to motivate people, and to elicit decisions to be made based on objective evidence as opposed to instinct alone. And our ability to take complex problems and quantify the why, or when that matters less, at least to predict the outcomes. So I'd like to close with the following. Don't lose sight of your goals. In such a complex world, much like our data problems, it's easy to get lost in the grind. Dream big, aim to make an impact. 
Strong data science can literally increase the pace by which humans learn and understand the world. That's a huge deal, and we should all be proud to be a part of it. As Professor Shanahan would say, we've reached the top of a mountain. But as we all know, there's still a lot more great work to do. We already know how to communicate and work together as a distributed group of students. I hope we maintain this passion and work together as a distributed group of alumni, both MIMS and MITS. Congrats, everyone. Thank you.